guys, welcome to yet another Vlogmas. Um, Kristen has left over um, yesterday, so we just woke up getting ready. I'll be off to my mom's birthday today, so now we're just listening to some Christmas music and we'll have some breakfast. Here she is. <laughs> it's dinner. Um, this is my makeup. I'm gonna finish doing it. First things first in the morning, I had to order a couple of pieces from Hannah Schoenberg's um, collection for Naked. So I absolutely love every single piece. Let's open the calendar. We finished Quality Street yesterday, right? No, just you left. <laughs> yeah, maybe like four or something. Um, okay, day 15. Another hand cream. What a surprise! I have so many. This is just a classic one. We have two poached eggs today. So I asked her what she wanted: granola with yogurt or poached eggs, and she said poached eggs. So yesterday we watched it, and we had some sushi, and then we started watching the second part of second movie of it. It was nice, but it wasn't scary. I thought it would be scary. But did you find it scary? No, I found it scary at the original movie. Yeah, in the nineties. <laughs> Never saw the original one growing up, so it was my first time seeing it. And it's just I don't know, it's a good movie actually, but not scary. Not scary enough. Oh by the way, do you guys know like super scary scary movies? Like for me I think the only scary one was the ring growing up and also growing up i mean when i was a teenager and the conjuring i found that scary but others that i've seen mm, they were funny actually so if you know like a psychologically like a psychological scary movie please let me know what was the scariest horror movie you've ever seen me? Mm -hmm. Black water or something like that. Also from the ring uh, collection. Sure. Okay. Yeah, but the, the Japanese one. The garage was disgusting. Mm. And kind of scary. So this is breakfast a la Chanel. This is what I eat every morning pretty much. It's actually like brunch. Brunch time already. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright. Best part ever. The first movie, Diagonally. Surely. <laughs> So I've been listening to George Michael and flipping through my recipe books, both by Madeleine Shaw and um, I was thinking of what I could cook for lunch and dinner tonight and I have two. <laughs> Hello baby. And um, I actually chose what I want to cook so I'm going to show you guys. For lunch I will do this mango and avocado salad. Which looks nice, fresh, and like easy to do. By the way, this is her Ready Steady Glow book. And then for dinner, I want to make this chicken and olive tagine with cauliflower and date couscous. But I probably will skip couscous and will only make this. And this little monkey is sleepy. So I'm gonna do a little OOTD. This is my grocery and bank run outfit. These sort of Konya colored leggings are from Zara and my turtleneck jumper is from Reserved and um, I'm gonna wear my docks and a Zara coat and probably a massive scarf because yeah it's very very windy and I feel really really chilly almost shivery actually so I'll have to check my temperature. Maybe I'm actually more sick than I think I am. Hmm.
I shuffled my apartment a little bit, switched my sofa around and my Christmas tree to take some beautiful pictures, Christmassy pictures um, with Lach coffee. I'm done with the pictures so now I'm just gonna enjoy the moment, sit on my sofa, sip my coffee and um, look at the recipe books. I just found another recipe I want to try. It's avocado, radish and salmon boats. They look so yummy. It's from this book. I'm back from grocery shopping and I'll show you what I got. So I got um, this beautiful wrapping paper. It has a trace of gold to it as well. It's from Yes. And I also got this sparkly um, sort of chocolate brown ribbon to go with it. I think it's so pretty. Um, okay, and then grocery wise, I got some ginger. A lot of these ingredients are for cooking today. Then I got this oat milk. Uh, this one is new actually. I have tried almond milk from this brand. It's by Ika and you can find it in Rimi. And I actually like oat milk. So I'm gonna try it in my coffee, see how that goes. Um, then I got some pepper. Uh, three different colors because that's what the recipe said. The macadamia nuts. Then some tomato sauce uh, with uh, tomato pieces. I really like this one. It's actually great for making lasagna. All of the tomato sauces by this brand, they're great. Then I got Rocket. Um, that's a lot of Rocket actually. And it's one of the ingredients in the salad and that's way too much. So I will do my best to eat it all this week, but I'm not sure that's gonna happen. Then I got some Greek yogurt. Then this, which is one of my favorites and I showed in previous vlogs. Um, this is curd with cloudberries. Um, then some sliced chicken breast for tonight's dinner. Um, some cold pressed virgin coconut oil for cooking. Red onion. A chili. And then I got two limes, uh, two mangoes, I chose really sort of squishy ripe ones, and then some matches. I thought these would be somewhat longer than regular matches, they're still quite short. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, that's that, that's everything I got. Okay guys, so I have two deliveries that I want to open on camera with you. So I'm gonna start with this one by Elizabeth. This is actually a magazine for a meditation challenge. It's a seven day meditation. <clears throat> and she does these courses that you can sign up for 
online. This is what the magazine looks like. It's a seven day meditation challenge. Um, this is Elizabeth herself. You can actually find more on the Babe Guru uh, Instagram or babeguru.com uh, website. So every single day you have space for journaling, which is great. Um, so you have to watch the video and do the meditation and once you do that, you just tick the box. Um, so yeah, it's like a self-reflection journal. It says if you like this course, take a 30-day transformational journey with me. The price is $99. Um, I actually don't know what's the price of a seven day meditation uh, challenge, but I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try it, um, sign up for it, and um, let you guys know my opinion. Um, yeah, because I think meditation is important. I like it, but I don't do it enough. And this is. Um, I don't even know. It doesn't say the name, just the last name. It's a viewer of mine who sent me a present, I'm assuming. Pretty sure. It's like Christmas present to me. Okay, so I have a little card with a Santa on. Yes, it's a viewer of mine and she says um, thank you for creating Christmas spirits with your vlogmas each year. Um, <laughs> oh, it's from Gabriela. Happy holidays. Oh, I know who she is. <laughs> ah, that's so nice. She said, I love when you open um, gifts of followers in Vlogmas. So, thank you, Gabriela, so much. I know she's been following me for a long time. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. She said something about peanut butter she said I want you to try my favorite peanut butter um, it's with poppy seed oh my god that's so nice it's macadamia nuts almonds uh, poppy seeds and salt oh wow and it's made by Lithuanians that's so so sweet thank you so much Gabriela I cannot wait to try it in my granola okay and then I see some tea this is English tea shop white tea collection. So it's got white tea uh, with cranberries, with blueberries, with uh, citrus and just um, original white tea. Honestly that is so sweet. Thank you so so much Gabriela. Look at this tea. It's so pretty and so cute. And I love tea so this is like the most perfect gift for me. Especially now that my nose is stuffy. I'm excited to have some of this so let's get to cooking and I'll probably try the meditation uh, tomorrow not today let's get to cooking and you can cook with me um, now we're gonna make a mango and avocado salad so I've got all the ingredients here and it only takes seven minutes so it's super quick um, and you don't need a ton of ingredients so it should be very simple so you need 50 grams of cashews um, I have 100 grams here so half the bag uh, one avocado peeled and stoned then one mango peeled and stoned as well uh, juice of two limes that seems like a lot of juice to me one red chili finely sliced and deseeded if you like uh, one tablespoon of freshly grated ginger, 50 grams of rocket, how much is in here? 100 grams, so half of this bag, and then one tablespoon of finely chopped mint. Now that's the only ingredient I don't have, um, they were out of mint in the grocery shop so we'll skip that the first thing you need to do is heat a small dry frying pan to medium high heat and toast the cashews for five minutes shaking the pan to prevent them burning until browned and then tip on uh, onto a plate to cool the next thing you have to do is finally slice the mango and avocado and toss in half of the lime juice to prevent them browning let's toast the cashews. I'm actually really scared of burning them. Okay, so half the bag of cashews. I'm gonna use my dagu bowl to 
to put my avocado and mango in. We'll use that line. Okay, nothing seems to be happening to the cashews. They're not browning yet. Okay, let's peel the mango now. Let me taste the mango. Mm. Oh my goodness. It's so good. Okay, so that's the entire mango. <laughs> Looks so good and so yummy. And I'm just gonna eat the rest of the mango. So I'm gonna squeeze in the lime juice. Oh my goodness, this looks like summer in a bowl, right? Okay, I don't want to burn these cashews, so I'm gonna take them from the heat and let them cool down. Yeah, I think they're pretty good. They haven't burned, they're just browned. Okay, and then it says mix the remaining lime juice with the chili and ginger. So I need to grate one tablespoon of ginger and chop the whole chili. Gonna let that soak in lime juice. Now I'm gonna grate my ginger. I often get asked where my kitchen things are from, um, like utensils and pots and pans. For example, this grater, and I don't even remember where things are from. Um, if you guys are curious, I did homeware hauls um, last year, I believe. Um, so this grater is probably just from Maxima, um, but like, yeah, a couple years ago probably. And the little bowl is from H&M Home, again, a couple years ago. Anyway, uh, do we have enough? Nope. Need some more ginger. Okay, now I think that's about a tablespoon. I have washed the chili, so now I'm gonna deseed it. Now I have to finely slice it. Now it says mix the remaining lime juice with uh, chili and ginger. So let's squeeze that. It smells so good, very exotic. Almost smells like, um, I don't know, Caribbean cuisine. Now I'm gonna wash half of this bag of rockets. So for that, of course, I'm gonna use my beautiful deco plate. Plonk the rocket in the middle of it. In goes the avocado and mango. I'm gonna toss the cashews. They're still warm. Oh my god, that looks so delicious. Let's mix up my spicy dressing. Oh wow, that's gonna be really intense. I mean, that's chili mix with ginger. It's gonna be an explosion. But probably really good for your immune system, the salad. 
It's like a very summery salad, but I think it's great to have in the winter to get your vitamins back. Uh, and voila, this is the final result. Oh, and uh, she says uh, scatter over the chopped mint, which I don't have, but I guess that doesn't change too much. It's probably just for decoration. Um, and now I'm gonna dig in. That's a lot actually, <laughs> but it looks so so good and it smells incredible. I think the salad turned out pretty well. Uh, hopefully it will taste nice as well, not just look nice. My camera battery is blinking, so let's do a quick taste test. Let's try and take a bit of everything. Mm. It's very like very fresh salad juicy fresh light very hot really hot malta better i think this is 10 points for me and this is something i'll definitely be eating a lot in summer mm. it's so so summery definitely try it guys so i'm ready to go um i'm gonna show you my outfit the top that i'm wearing i wore it in a photo shoot and i actually got questions from you guys i didn't get a chance to answer so it's from keepsake an australian brand and it's like a sheer top with a glitter it's like sequins that are sewed on these are just vintage uh, dark gray trousers i'm gonna wear my old asos earrings so yeah this is my mom's birthday look So guys, I'm back from my mom's birthday, um, which was really nice, just good quality family time, but I'm still not over my cold, like my nose is stuffy. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna make myself a cup of hot tea and then probably chill and uh, read my book and then go to sleep, um, try not to stay up too late tonight. Almost feels like my nose got even worse than it was. So I think I'm gonna make this one. Rituals, cardamom and ginger. If I have any left. Oh yeah, I do. So that's great. It's a really heartwarming tea and some honey. Oh nice. Well done me. you guys actually asked me what's the brand of my kettle so here you go guys the brand is DeLonghi uh, if I'm pronouncing that correctly I don't even know I'm starting to cough that's not a good sign and now I just want to jump into something comfy I'm gonna jump into a hoodie and some sweatpants. I actually really like this top. I might wear it for Christmas. I don't know. Look, so twinkly and cute. And that's me in the background. Let's get to the second recipe. Uh, for dinner. Now I'm gonna tell you all of the ingredients you're gonna need. So it says that it takes 30 minutes to cook it but you have to keep in mind that I'm not gonna uh, cook couscous, only the chicken. Okay, so you're gonna need 500 grams of chicken uh, thighs or breasts cut into bite-sized pieces. That's already cut for me here. Uh, then one tablespoon of smoked paprika, one tablespoon of ground cumin, three quarters tablespoon ground cinnamon, half a tablespoon of ground coriander, I have to look for it in my pantry, two tablespoons of coconut oil uh, or butter, uh, <coughs> Two tablespoons of coconut oil or butter, one red onion finely diced, one red pepper, uh, deseeded and thinly sliced, one yellow and one orange pepper also. Two cloves of garlic, uh, two tablespoons of freshly grated uh, ginger, 
500 milliliters of chicken stock. I have my chicken stock here and 5 milliliters of water in here. So I'm gonna um, boil the kettle. Then 3 tablespoons of tomato puree. 100 grams of olives. I have my olives in the fridge. So I'm gonna get those. They should be stoned. And then grated zest and juice of 1 lemon which I have right here and then lastly salt and freshly ground black pepper to taste so let me start cooking um, okay the first thing you have to do is place the chicken pieces in a large bowl and mix with the smoked paprika cumin cinnamon coriander and a big pinch of salt and pepper okay so one and a half tablespoon of smoked paprika One tablespoon of ground cumin. Actually, I'm gonna use it all. Three quarters of a tablespoon of cinnamon. I couldn't find ground coriander, but I found this. Um, so, I'm gonna add this coriander anyway. Um, so, half a tablespoon of that and then it says a big pinch of salt and pepper so I'm gonna do salt and lots of pepper now I have to mix everything together then you have to heat one tablespoon of the oil or butter in a large pan and saute the onions and the peppers for three minutes and then add garlic and ginger and cook for another minute. Now I'm gonna chop my garlic and then grate uh, two tablespoons of ginger. I'm gonna add all of that in. And the recipe says to push the veg to the side add another tablespoon of oil or butter like so and then we're gonna add in the chicken you have to cook it until bronzed um, so let's scrape out all the spices the olives that I had at home were with stones so I'm stoning them myself um, now we have to add in the chicken stock, stir the vegetables back in and add the stock. Three tablespoons of tomato puree. And then you're supposed to add 100 grams of olives. I don't think that's 100 grams, but that should be enough for me. And you're supposed to cook it for 10 more minutes. The last step is to stir in half of uh, lemon juice. So I'm gonna stop cooking, take the lid off, and squeeze in the lemon. So I think my meal for lunch was super summery and this looks very wintry, like a 
warm winter's dish because it smells very spicy. It has lots of cinnamon, so it smells very um, festive. Madeline's looks more presentable than mine, but let's try it out. The moment of truth. Wow. The chicken is so tender and so full of flavor. Like with every recipe from Madeline's book, I just love it. I honestly love pretty much every single recipe I tried by her. It's just... Mm. It's incredible. It's the perfect dish for a um, cold winter evening. So guys, I'm gonna end my vlogmas here today. Gonna sip on my tea. It's still a bit hot. I don't wait for it to cool off. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this vlog. Oh, and try not to squeeze spots because this is what happens. This is just it's like some redness that won't go away. I've squeezed this part weeks ago and it's gone, but it just left this redness. What do I do about it? <laughs> also, if you try cooking any of these dishes, um, share that on Insta stories because I love seeing um, Insta stories when you guys cook or try something that I've made in Vlogmas. So, um, have a great day or night and I'll talk to you very soon in my next Vlogmas. <laughs>